Katie here. Today I'm going to be doing a beauty tag. I've never done a tag video on my beauty channel. I've done them on my vlog channel and stuff like that, but I've never actually done a tag video on my beauty channel. So I thought, what the heck, let's do a tag video. The tag video I'm going to be doing is the seven deadly sins of beauty. I think that's what it's called. And yeah, I think I'm just going to jump into the questions. I wasn't tagged or anything to do this video, like because I think people probably realise I don't do tag videos, but it all changes today. Number one. Greed. Wow. What is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive? I'd have to say for most inexpensive beauty items are any products by NUA, of which I have a vast amount simply because for the price you're paying, the quality is actually really good. Uh, this is probably my favourite inexpensive beauty product and this is the MUA Gloss in shade number two. And it's just this lovely frosty pink. I really like it and it cost me the grand total of £1, so I'm going to have to say this is probably my most inexpensive beauty item. <laughs> and my most expensive beauty item is probably going to be the Naked 2 palette, simply because, I mean, you can get more expensive beauty items than this. Shush! It's about 30-ish pounds from Debenhams or House of Fraser or places like that. And I don't know, this is the only thing I would consider spending that much money on. Um, all my Urban Decay palettes are probably my most expensive ones. Number two, what products do you have a love-hate relationship with? And what product has been the hardest to get? The beauty products I have a love-hate relationship with are anything by MAC, because MAC foundations are usually hate. But I have the MAC Match Master foundation, which I'm loving. So that's a bit confusing because usually I really hate MAC foundations. Not because of the formulation, the formulation is fantastic. It's just that they go orange on my skin and make me look like an oompa lumpa. But I've been loving them lately. I've been loving the Match Master foundation and also pretty much anything else by MAC, like their MSFs. Sometimes I hate them, I hate how they look on my skin sometimes, and then other days I'll really like them. So I, I think I'm just really fussy. And what product has been the hardest to get hold of? Again, probably the Naked 2 palette, for sure. These are really hard to come by. And I was quite lucky to get mine when I did, and to get the prize that I did for you guys when I had my Naked 2 palette contest. Uh, yeah, definitely this one. Number three, what are your most delicious beauty products? If I'm being honest, it's gotta be this lip gloss here by Philosophy. I was watching Sarah Bell X93's video on this, and she showed up her marshmallow lip gloss of this one and mine is the pink frosted cookie and this genuinely just tastes like icing sugar it smells like icing sugar but it tastes like it and it's just whoo, love 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 this this is like an all-time favorite lip gloss of mine because it's a really easy color to wear it's like a, again like a sort of shimmery frosty pink but honestly it just smells like icing sugar and it's really good and it tastes like it too so that's got to be my most delicious one it's so scrummy number four what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness without a shadow of a doubt it's primer barely use it the only primer or base i've been using at the moment is lately i've been using this one by me 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 cosmetics it's their seventh heaven one and i don't know i've really been enjoying this it smells like clementines or tangerines or something Whoa, it's so yum. It smells like the Satsuma body moisturiser from the body shop. It's really good. But usually I don't use primer. I'm just lazy. Number five, which beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? If I'm being honest, I'm probably going to have to go with mascara, simply because I actually feel bald or naked without mascara on. I feel really strange. And... I feel that when my eyelashes are done and I sort of just have a bit of framing around my eyes, I feel a little bit more confident, you know, ready to start the day and hit the nail on the head. I don't know, just, I suppose, because my eyes are a really strange colour and they're not quite blue and they're not quite green, they're kind of in between, when I have mascara on it just gives them a little bit of a framework or a little bit of like an outline so they don't look quite so lost in the paleness of but yeah. Definitely mascara makes me feel most confident. Number six, what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? Don't know what that has to do with beauty products. I guess as long as they have a really funny personality, like if they're a funny person and they make me laugh a lot, that's what I'm gonna find attractive because my boyfriend is hilarious and he knows it and most of the time he tells me off because I always say stop being so silly, but it's because I don't want to give him a huge ego, but he's very, very funny and I guess a really good smile. 
that's about it. He's got a lovely smile, so it makes me happy. The sort of smile that makes you smile when they smile. You know, like that Justin Bieber song. And the boyfriend has an amazing smile, so that makes me happy. Number seven is what items would you most like to receive as a gift? Qu'est-ce que c'est là? Not pleased about that. I had a hair hanging out on my lip gloss. It's not cool. Who invited you? The things I'd most probably like to receive would be something like perfume or body products. I don't really like receiving makeup as a gift because I don't trust anybody else to get me what I want. Usually because I know precisely what I want and what I like and I'd rather go and get it myself. And other people, when they try and guess, they get it wrong. I don't know, I prefer getting perfume or body products, you know, like moisturisers, body lotions, things like that. That makes me happy. And accessories like jewellery and scarves and shoes. That's about it, because people usually get that right with me. I think that's the end of the tag. Yes, that's the end. Seven questions, seven deadly sins, kind of makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I just thought it was a nice change to my usual videos, which is like tutorials and occasional hauls. I hope you guys are all well. And ow! Oh, that really hurt! I'm wearing my special uh, bendy ring that you saw in one of my haul videos, and I just accidentally pinched the skin on my finger between the ring. Oh, that wasn't fun. I will see you guys soon with my next video, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day, wherever you are. And I love you. Bye-bye.